thesmartlocal.com Wait, Ooh, let's lock excuse it me! <laughs> Happy! This is the fight! in your everyday trash. Uh, okay, I know the new one that everyone produces this trash. Disposable mask. I would say the most ways I produce is like takeaway coffee cups. Ah, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Although I do own Tupperware or like a ah. proper one, I don't know, but then like, I don't know why I keep forgetting that it's there. This place, <laughs> Tupperware, it's more Tupperware. Ah. <laughs> How do you lead a green and sustainable mm. lifestyle? I upcycle things. So I made duct tape wallets, paper bag wallets, and all sorts of different kinds of wallets. I always reuse delivery boxes for storage. Like if I go to school or to work, I'll like bring lunch from home. Ah. And I think that's a way of like reducing food waste as well. Right, to right. make sure that like leftovers don't get thrown away. See, from my jawline, I have no leftovers. <laughs> Might have some leftover food. <laughs> 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 How dare you? Um, when it comes to recycling and waste generation, I always try and mm. sort my trash down basically. Yeah. Mm. So I, I joined this chat on Telegram, it's called Freebies Chat. So it's where people list things that they don't want anymore mm. but they're still yeah. in good condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And basically prolonging the life of, of things. I'm in this curious. episode of Singaporeans Try, you guys are going to try and pick up all the trash that you see for 48 hours. And you're going to recycle this. Wow! Uh, I, I like and, this. Wait, wait, as in like pick up and recycle. Uh, like, let's say someone eat finished Kinder Bueno. No, that type can, cannot recycle. It's got food stain. Uh. Are you ready? Yes! Let's go! Let's pick it up! Why for yes? It is currently 12.28. Unfortunately, I did not do any trash picking. For the morning, I figured the next best thing that I can do is to look for trash in my house and see how much I can accumulate. Just letting you know first, I am messy and there's going to be a lot of stuff. This is my workstation. This is, by the way, my vanity space where I do my makeup now. And then here it looks very neat because I just shot something here. <laughs> <laughs> this is the chair that I picked up from the trash. I restrung this area because it was falling apart. So I'm making uh, coffee this morning. I actually want to note how much coffee grounds I use so that immediately I can either go and I'll, I'll put them into the planter and not have to carry it around and, and finally weigh it. I'll add the total of how much trash I use today. Hello, so uh, on my journey of becoming an eco-warrior, my lunchbox and my tumbler. As you can see, uh, it's nicely in the bowl. Uh, even though I asked for less rice, it looks like it's still a lot. Uh. Okay, can I have one uh, iced lemon tea? Okay. But uh, inside this, uh, this one can? Can? Okay. Here's my lunch for today. I think the main star of the show okay. is this iced lemon tea drink. You know why? Because for the same cost, I got this whole tumbler filled up. As compared to my friend here, who has only this amount for the same price. Because of my work, a lot of people send me things in boxes and I've always had the habit of reusing them. How I reuse these boxes would be to make them organizers or sometimes I put them straight into the drawer so that I can compartmentalize things inside my drawer. When it comes to items like things that I find in packaging as well, I often keep them aside. I received this box in the mail and it came with just filling and accessories and whatnot and instead of throwing them away, I kept them here. My mirror can sit comfortably in a bit of dried leaves. Today is the first day of the trash challenge and the timing cannot be more insane because uh, my parcels came. So today, I will generate a lot of waste. I will recycle them in the bin. So after I went home yesterday, I actually had to think about what produces the most waste in my life and I realised that it's actually um, the amount of mail that I get every day. So for example, I have supplements and then this box comes in another box so that it's protected. So I used to study at Sota and then there was like a Makisan brand new there and when it opened, we all were obsessed with the Makisan boxes. We thought they were so cute, little avocados on it because the sushi would be on like a piece of like paper. Take it out and then we would save the boxes to clean it out and up till now, I still have this box and it keeps my markers. I'm at work now and I actually brought out a plastic bag so that I can collect trash and this is my first trash collection of the day. And I'm gifting it to her. 
Yeah. So you still can combine or not? Half half. Add together. This one I think 5 but, gram. What weight is this? 5 gram. No, this <laughs> Work day never ends. Okay, so today right, I set up live stream for Chow Chow. Thanks. But I also feed her, means I generate waste. <laughs> this has like paper and plastic. And this is plastic. And I'm gonna have to weigh those things. Hello, so time check is about 7pm and I just ended a shoot a while ago. So what I'm gonna do is, since I'm still in office, I'm gonna go around office to the different bins and I'm gonna pick up the trash and put it inside my own trash bag. Yeah, it's around 10 now. I'm still in the office. The clients that I had a shoot with had dinner. They left a lot of trash and I'm gonna bring this home. Since I'm still in office, I might as well just go through the trash bins. Supposed to clear trash at the end of the day, but they didn't. So I'm gonna bring this whole bag of trash home as well. So in my house, I have a habit of already having a recycling corner. Every few weeks or so when it fills up, I bring it down to the big blue bins. For my recyclables, I'm gonna split them into two weights just so that the producers can decide whether or not they want to count this weight because these are recyclables that I've collected over a period of time. It's just that I already have this habit of collecting recyclables since it is trash that I see in 48 hours and this is the 48 hours, I'm going to count it. Morning, good morning. Uh, so it's early in the morning and we just got a text from the producers telling us that we are supposed to head down to East Coast Park and the thing is we have to take public transport because you know it's all part of the challenge being more environment being more environment oh, my brain and my tongue isn't working yet but I am walking to the MRT now because I'm gonna head over to East Coast Park to meet everybody else producers said that we have to take public transport but hey public transport is something that I take all the time already so Alright guys, so I'm in office now, it's day 2. Today, I'm quite proud of myself. Okay, firstly, because like, uh, I first should keep my tong that was given to me, yeah. So one of my deliveries actually contained a bag, okay, but it looks like a tarpaulin, it's from Ikea. I thought to myself, right, this challenge is to collect as much trash as possible. But like, that doesn't sit right with me, you know, it feels like it's the wrong way to approach it. So I'm trying to lose the challenge, quote unquote, because I use so little trash, right? So much so that I'm taking out one of the trash pieces to be used today. If I don't use reuse a bag with this kind of material, right, what's the point? Hello. Hi. So basically, all of you are here today for a challenge. Uh, oh. So you'll be competing with each other to pick out the most amount of trash in 30 minutes. Uh, because I extra, please give it to me, that will count to my weight. Hi, that's Hi. cheating. Why is that cheating? Huh? Because you know? it's like Some people collect from the office dustbins. The one cheating. Wait. Who collects the office Excuse dustbins? Excuse me. Dustbins, this is outside. Your 30 minutes start now. Go, 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 go. <laughs> You see, I find all these like little scraps of paper. I think paper can be very easily recycled as long as they don't have any food waste on them. When you have food waste on paper, you actually contaminate the whole batch of recyclables. So it's really best not to do that. The bottle cap. Oh yeah, you see there's a coffee bean logo. <laughs> Guys, all the trash is coming from all the food waste. Actually, I think a lot of these, right, besides like the biscuit wrapper and like the sauce wrappers, even the Mac Cafe like wrapper, like if it's not I mean, like dirty with food, you guys can actually recycle it. Well, wow. I think 50 kg. <laughs> <laughs> it, it might have been a boat. Double I'm the, main, I'm the main crab guy. Yeah. I can only walk sideways now. Yep, yeah. <laughs> actually, I'm quite confused. If the bottle cap was here, then the bottle's like where? If they That's can true. take the bottles away. They should have just taken the bottle cap away. Almost done, we are reaching there. Oh, so sweet! Very good! There's so many there! Let's go! Appreciate it! Thank, Thank you, you so much! Thank you! Thank you! Hey, honey, cabbage! Nice. That's disgusting! This is the cabbage! Oh, my God! Why? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's that big piece of this! Oh, my God! <laughs> those, all those poses. The people with the highest weight is John and Hafiz. Oh, no one is a winner. Oh. The planets. There's actually a lot of dustbins all around the area so it's very easy for you to dispose of your trash responsibly. Wow guys, so I took like a whole 10 minute walk from the MRT to home and I didn't spot any trash around. I was expecting cans maybe, bottles, 
plastic wrappers, but no one none. Okay, I'm home and I came home to more trash. I have a big box of clothes here from a local brand I really, really love. I think as much as possible, they try to maximize the plastic that they put the clothes in. So they actually put in a few pieces as much as they can fit into these Ziploc bags. And then what I do with these Ziploc bags, I keep them and I bring them along for my exercise classes. I put my activewear inside these Ziploc bags and I reuse them a couple of times until I feel like, okay, they're too dirty and then I, I throw them into the recycling bin. I run a little side gig. I make earrings and when I mail them out to people who buy them, I actually use a lot of these materials that I've kept in stock. This includes boxes, bubble wrap, ribbons, and papers. Whenever I open these up, I'm very careful with how I cut it so that it can be reused again. Different ribbons. Oh. There we go. So I realized that I haven't been collecting a lot of trash, right? So I want to up my game. So I remembered that I have uh, like a hardware store near my house. So I went to it in search of something and guess what? As you can see, this is a cat cat machine. And hopefully tonight, with the remaining amount of time I have, I can collect a bit more rubbish and uh, trash. Hello, so this is my uh, complete ranger outfit. I got my ranger hat and then I also have my cat cap and my trash bag. Oh my! Yeah. It was um, interesting actually. For recyclables, a lot of them came from my own usage of things. Yeah. No, actually, if you follow her Instagram, uh, just recently she go and pick up a new chair. <laughs> I saw! Oh from my the gosh. trash. I didn't go out much during the two days. Uh, mm -hmm. So, like, a lot of the trash, very ironically, uh, I don't know why so hang or sway, right? All the deliveries that I order came in the two days. But thankfully, most of the things that came, the packaging, right, which is like cardboard boxes, um, bubble wrap, I did some Googling, all can recycle. Mm. In your Tupperware food, you don't really generate trash, right? Mm. Because did you bring your Tupperware out? Yeah, it did, it did. Yeah. Oh. So, my containers out, then the cutleries were also like the reusable ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, well. There's not much trash. Even though he's the loser, he's the real winner. Yeah. Oh, so, I right. came here, was a bit <laughs> down, but now I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm the best, man. <laughs> <laughs> During the beach cleanup, like what I saw was a lot of food disposables, mm -hmm. and it kind of made me think like, like we can actually think about bringing things from our own homes instead of disposables. When you want to go green, it doesn't have to start doing a hundred eighty degree turn in terms uh, of your mm -hmm. lifestyle or habits. Minimally, for me, what I felt was very impactful, even though it was a small step, was bringing out the containers and my own cutlery and whatnot. Like. I brought right something uh, that I reuse, and I use it to basically store my photos. So these are all like people in my life. Ah, from our alternate bing ding -dings. you remember or not? <laughs> ah, alternate bing ding -dings. Do you know anything about the green plan? Yes, I know there is one that is the plan to have uh, the smart city or like green neighbourhood. I don't know smart or green, you leave it in the comments below. Huh? But basically, it's like a neighbourhood that is tailored to be more environmentally friendly. On those neighbourhoods, right, I think the one I know of is Tengah. Mm -hmm. And one of the most revolutionising thing that they're doing is to do away with roads mm. in certain areas of the like city. Like car free, right? Yeah, the top layer is no cars at all. All the cars are below. And in the entire area, people can walk, they can cycle just to get about the entire yeah, area. Yeah, correct. I think it's really cool and I would want to see that for myself. Thank you Gov.sg for making this video possible. If you want to find out more about the Singapore Green Plan, check out this link in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Remember to ring the notification bell down below and watch our other videos over there. Bye-bye!